Good morning, gentlemen. Here we go. Power supply. Be running on six volts. Cell unit. My HHometer and the shunt. And then up to my meters. So you got a stopwatch. My temp gauge, a knife if I have problems I can kill myself, and a pad, paper, and calculator. So I'm going to set this down and fire this thing up. Okay. Now you can see there, that's the bottom tube, feed tube. It's got a little backflow through it from that one T. The upper one here, a little light behind it, you can see it's putting up pretty good. So, we set this down one more time. Grab the watch. One more thing, I forgot here. Let's get up here to this. You can see we're bouncing around on the amps. And voltage. Is right there. <clears throat> it's 44 degrees outside right now. It's uh, running at, let's see here, about 53 degrees here at the T. Let's get this thing going. Stopwatch. Plug. And we're on the clock. So, yeah, I'm only running about, I think about 4% uh, KOH, um, just takes time now, about two and a half minutes worth of time, you can see the, it is going up slowly. Eaters are staying pretty steady. My shunt, while this thing's cooking, is a, a five amps for every two milli, uh, millivolts. So it's not too difficult to figure. Back up to the the production and back down here we're running about 61 degrees right now so the clock still ticking away still producing so just kind of let it percolate and see where we end up about two and a quarter minutes right now And we're getting up there to just about one liter. Okay. 
right there. Now, I don't know if you can see this. A little bit of condensation in there. That has been there for the last five or six runs. And it goes down here to the loop. There's just a little bit of condensation in the in the pipe. It goes over to my meter. So it uh, bubbling away there. So. Still churning. And and it is still cooking and there's the uh, finished readings. And I am still running about uh, 60, 62 degrees. So there you have it gentlemen I uh, hope this has been enlightening a lot of fun bye now